Hello and welcome to Intern Insights. I'm Dr. Bruce Finkley. I'm the Internship Coordinator for Mass Communication here at the University of Montevallo. Internships provide our students with valuable real-world experience, and this show highlights where our students intern and some of the things that they're learning out there in the field. Joining me on this episode is Skylar Haney, who interned with Rick and Bubba this summer. Skylar, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So what was it like interning for the two sexiest fat men alive? Well, let me tell you, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely crazy. No, they were, they were really awesome to work with. And what was really interesting to me is how genuine they were. Because you see them on radio and you see them on their live stream. You don't think... You, you know, you think, oh, they're these stars, but really they're not. They're, you're, they're normal people like you and me. They're mm -hmm. really genuine. They really want to work with you, especially Rick, because I felt like he was more like a father figure, you know. He was really gentle. He was really um, relaxed in his way of coming to the interns and saying, hey, this is how you do it. Even when we messed up, he was really good about, you know, understanding. And same with Bubba, too. Bubba was just like, Hey, it's all good, man. You know, <laughs> so he was he was very relaxed and everything, but also Speedy, Helmsy, Greg, huh, Greg, uh, Greg was interesting. But I'll get that to, back to it in a second. But they were really, it was awesome. really great. It was awesome. So as an intern, what were some of the things that you did on a daily basis? So on a daily basis, I would definitely say it would be answering the phone calls. I did a lot of that. I also did. A, I worked a lot with Adler, who is their TV producer. So I did the live streams. I worked with uh, the YouTube live streaming as well. I did a lot of the comments and interacting with the viewers as well so and that's up my alley in terms of like video production is my main thing but um, also it was doing some other things just like making coffee and some other stuff but another uh, big the thing traditional the, the traditional tasks. intern tasks <laughs> yes but I would say the next most important thing was getting the script run down and everything because they did have some type of uh, script it was basically what they would do for their commercials and mm -hmm. then kind of like the show outline so that was a really big importance for speedy to make sure that i had all that too but uh but yeah that's basically what i did on a day-to-day -day basis so one of the the hallmarks of the rick and bubba show mm -hmm. is every intern gets a nickname mm -hmm. yours was polka don tell us about the 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 evolution of your name because okay, I was so, listening that yes, morning. Yes, yes, you were, and I feel bad I didn't give you a shout out. I know. But <laughs> I know my brother called me and oh, he said, no. "Hey, one of your students is on the radio, uh, and they're talking about some Dr. Scott, <laughs> and he hasn't mentioned you at all." So I'm so sorry. That's when I, I sent you nervous. that that Facebook message going. Really? I'm sorry. I'm your hey, internship look, coordinator, you and you're know, not mentioning me. This will make up for it. <laughs> this will make up for it. No, it was really great because I love Pokemon, and that's a video game series. And I had a Pokemon hat on that day when I. I went in for my interview and then also I do a Donald Trump impression oh my gosh um, <laughs> and it, they combined it into that I did it back to back with talking about it and the viewers just like latched on to it mm -hmm. you know and that's just how it was born it was a combination of both yeah so, so it was it was fun being yeah, able to, it was to tune in and, and listen to that <laughs> Because what were some of the other options that they were they were having? They were considering on? doing better because I've lost over 100 pounds this past year and a half. So they were like intern doing better. They were like uh, intern, uh, in, like intern. I'm engaged, so mm -hmm. uh, that as well. So they had they had a, a good few of them, but it's on YouTube somewhere. So yeah. that's pretty cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. So on a. a kind of shifting gears, mm -hmm. uh, what would you say were, were some of the biggest challenges to working on the Rick and Bubba show? So it was really interesting for me because I had listened to them for so many years and the technical aspect of it, I did dabble in like a lot. That was my main thing, even though I was getting coffee and doing this other stuff with Adler, that was probably one of the biggest challenges for me because I'm like, I'm in control of this live stream. And if I mess up one, like if I bump the camera a little bit one way, I mean, it's going to look bad, you know? So it was, it was doing a live stream because I've never done a YouTube live stream in that kind of format to a huge audience. I mean, they have 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 viewers every single day mm -hmm. that are just for YouTube and then across the country, millions. So if I mess up on that, that's not good, especially when Adler's out doing his donkey thing, whatever he does. Um, I have to make sure that I'm on point, I'm accurate, and that I get the camera shots and I continue the live stream and the continuity and just continue to make it look professional. So that was the biggest challenge for me, I would say. Other than that, it's great. It's good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we try to replicate the real world mm -hmm. as much as possible here on campus. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things that you had learned here at Montevallo that once you were at the Rick and Bubba show, you went, aha, you had that moment where it clicks mm -hmm. and you go, this is how classroom knowledge translates mm -hmm. to career. The, the most important thing was taking uh, MC411, so the newscast class, is, is, is it 412? 
411. It's 411, right? It's 411, double checking. <laughs> no, but that class helped me the most is because I got used to that flow. They had a very similar process. It's like, this is when we're going live. This is when we're going to cut. This is that. This is that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I got used to that flow. And also, it was, a, it was a little bit, it was a pressure, but it was good pressure, you know? I felt that, I felt that, that my job is important. I felt that weight to it. And I felt the same for Rick and Bubba because if I, like they had that same kind of switcher board too. So when I ran the switcher during the newscast, it was the same for the video, the live stream for Rick and Bubba. So I had to make sure that I, that translated the most I would say from mm -hmm. that. So that's well, an example. And that's the great thing about these skills mm -hmm. is, you know, that, that 411 class, the video engineering side mm -hmm. of our newscast operation here, you know, yeah, we're, we're in there switching a news show every week, mm -hmm. but once you understand the ins and outs of multicam production and directing and switching that, mm -hmm. you can apply that to, to any type of thing. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you're a great example of how that translates from a news environment to more of an entertainment exactly. type of production, mm -hmm. which, is, which is really an awesome thing. Mm -hmm. um, so what would you say uh, was the, the most surprising thing that happened? Because, you know, with, and I've listened to Rick and Bubba for uh -huh. years. Um, I've heard him speak at different events. Mm -hmm. and. And they can kind of, you, you talk about Speedy has the rundown, mm -hmm. but they can go off script. Yes, they can. So, you know, the, the show can all, you know, you go in with the best intentions. Mm -hmm. Just like this show. We go in with the best intentions, but we don't know what's going to happen. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so far, we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing good. Uh, but, you know, it, it can go off the rails in a heartbeat. So mm -hmm. what, what's kind of an example where, you know, it, it a surprise happened and so, it wasn't what they had planned? So I would say... There was this one caller, I can't remember exactly, but like they were just so just like, they were so passionate about their topic that they continued to call. Like this lady wanted to play the Beatles. She wanted to hear the Beatles so much and they eventually put her on and Bubba was like, <laughs> like nope not gonna hear it and that was probably the funniest thing because then they transitioned from the topic they were on which I believe was a political topic they just transitioned to the Beatles so that's the thing like just like you said about Rick and Bubba that was the most surprising thing for me is that they are able to continue being entertained like they're very entertaining and they're able to keep the audience's attention no matter what the subject is even when that caller called in and said that that was the most amazing thing to me is to see how well they can transition to that and then get back on topic, mm -hmm. you know, because some people, they just stay on that tangent and never go back, but they're able to switch it back and forth back to the topic that they were wanting to have. So. And they've got to be, you know, quick thinkers yes, and, they because are. they're on the air for, is it, isn't it four hours? It's four hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's a lot of time mm -hmm. to fill. Mm -hmm. So and per segment. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so if somebody else said, Hey, I want to go intern at the Rick and Bubba mm -hmm. show, what advice would you give them? I would probably say the best advice to do is contact Helmsy. He's the intern coordinator with Rick and Bubba. And really just like, just send them an email saying, hey, you know, I'm wanting to learn more about, you know, whether it is, whether you want to do film, broadcast, whatever. They have each type filled or each, um, each sector of our job as mass communication majors filled, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can get something out of whatever it is there at the Rick and Bubba show. So I would say probably if you're wanting to go into video, I would say maybe make a video or two, put it up on YouTube and, and uh, shoot Adler an email because he does view that kind of stuff. And if you're more into like the actual broadcast, broadcast for radio specifically, I would uh, definitely contact Speedy and Helmsy because I did both of those and then they will be able to get back with you. But they're very nice and very very uh, passionate about having people come in about it. So awesome. it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, good job. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in a mass communication internship, you have to be a junior or senior, and you have to have completed 15 hours in the major. You also have to have a 2.5 GPA. Internship hours are variable. You can do as few as one or as many as six. Internship hours are also offered every term, fall, spring, and summer. And if you want more information and you want to talk face-to-face, -face, feel free to either shoot me an email. Uh, my email address is bfinkley at montevallo.edu, or you can stop by my office here in Strong Hall. You can also learn more about our MassCom internships at montevallo.edu slash mc. Just on the right-hand side of the page, click on internships. There you'll be able to see a list of every uh, place that our interns have been since, uh, I think, 2013. So uh, a lot of different things there. So that's all we've got for this episode of Intern Insights. Skylar, thank you so much for stopping you, by Dr. and talking Franklin. about thank you. the Rick and Bubba Show. That's hey, a lot of fun. It was awesome. <laughs> well, we will see you again next time.